What's up YouTube? It's Louis here. I hope you're all well. Today we'll be looking at Quant on the daily time frame and we'll go from there. So we've now met our technical target. We do want to see this box hold, but if we were to lose this, we need to see where are we going to next. So of course our previous swing high is over here. So literally for me a worst case scenario, doomsday scenario for me would be 85 to 94 dollars per now i don't think that's going to happen unless bitcoin completely tanks make sure to check out bitcoin's update today because i've basically shown how potentially we could be in very close to a bottom very soon and so if that's bottoming out the rest will too now they can keep going down until bitcoin bottoms but if bitcoin does bottom and starts heading back up no matter how bad your altcoin chart looks bitcoin will drag it back up even if it looks like it's going to hell and it's putting in lower lows or whatever so our target's been met over here we'll now go to the oops four hour time frame to see what is going on and to see if our actual technical targets using the fibs have been met of course we were expecting the swing low to meet because we lost this previous swing high and when we lose a swing high we come to the swing low and that's why we've been using this as a, a bright uh, an amazing example you can see you had a swing high swing low you come up made a new one so made a new swing high and then you came back down to form a swing low on the previous swing high lose this you're coming to this and this is what we're seeing right now you lost support over here you come back down to it got above resistance confirmed that support holding 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 obviously coming down like price was getting pushed down by the 200 ema lost support gone to the next one and now potentially could even be losing this and we need to see is this because we're trying to meet our technical target before getting back above this box or, or literally are we heading lower this is what we need to work out today so i'm going to put the fibs back on from yesterday's update thank you guys that was my highest ever watched video we had 1.4k people 1400 people watching yesterday's quant update so thank you all of you please subscribe to the channel that is what's going to help our channel grow to get this video out to more like-minded people who are looking at quant for gains going into the future so we've had this swing low we've come up swing high basically you've come down impulsively before correcting and then continuation you lost the one creating that reversal wave with our 1618 as a target we have now met that target and the reason we're going lower is because i am looking at this too which is what i said in yesterday's update and the reason why i'm looking at 140 139 is because once we've measured this larger uh, impulse to the upside you can see that we lost that one and you're coming to this 1618 down here at 139 dollars why because you lost the one here you're coming down your target is the 1618 however let's get rid of this now because the target's been met however you could have bounced from the 1.272 and got back above the one and that would have invalidated any further downside if you could basically hold the one as support again but we never even had that push we um, came all the way down to that 1414, then had that push to the upside, got rejected by the 1.272 with wicks to the top at resistance, wicks to the top is going to drop. And that's why we've seen us come back to the low of this range. Now you've now broken out of it. And the reason is because you lost the 1414 and we're technically going to the 1618 over here. This is where, of course, I'd like Quant to hold. And this would have to tie in with Bitcoin bottoming out soon. But if Bitcoin doesn't bottom out by the time Quant gets down here then we could be looking at lower technical targets for quant and the next pullback we do get i can give you basically further technical targets to the downside but if we're just using this larger fib we need to look at the 1618 as a target and then obviously what's your next support under that 130 dollars so for the moment this is my target any changes will go from there but this is what i'm looking at for quant still there's not really much more to say other than that we can put a little fib. let's go to the one out we can put a little fib over here you haven't lost the the low yet you've wicked below it but you haven't exactly lost the low you have created that reversal wave to the one because you lost the 618 over here you were holding it as support before losing it now we can come up obviously look where the 20 ma is by the time you come up this would have dragged down a bit maybe lining up with that 618 or these wicks over here and then obviously maybe even get rejected again now of course we can look at the bright side give some hope here and say this is some sort of double bottom but again guys this can easily get invalidated first of all it's not valid until you break the neckline 150 dollars and you can see lost support respected as resistance 150 and respecting the 20 ema this basically means we should go and put a lower low and you've done that now with the bodies but are we going to break this wick potentially why because again you come up to the 786 which we would have liked to get above to basically ignore further downside but you rejected it 
we have wicks at the top at resistance that means we're going to drop put in lower low so we should now go lower than this low which we currently are but i mean with the candle closure lose this one level you're now coming to this 1618 at 137 dollars slightly lining up with this 1618 here but i think that if you were to stop over here it's because of obviously this target but also these other two because as we know with the fibs this is your target down here the 1618 but it doesn't have to be met you can have bounces from the 1.272 or from the 1414 and if you can confirm the 1s support you can start heading higher basically you can also lose the one again validating further downside so just letting you guys know that so for the moment i'm still looking at 139 you can see our new 1618 is down here but yeah more focused on this one maybe a little bit down there hold that for continuation to the upside lose it lose this and we obviously look at this as our next technical target 129 dollars potentially our, our bottom if this is not already so guys that's it i hope you enjoyed the video please smash the like button of course subscribe and help the channel grow and comment that would be lovely i'll catch you guys in the next one and as always peace